I am Logan Hickey. I am uh, the minister here at Kilwinning Evangelical Church. My name is Grant McIntosh. And Charlotte McIntosh. And we're both from Kilwinning. I was brought up in the Woodwind area and Charlotte was brought up in the Blacklands. Hi, my name's uh, Stephen. I live in the local area. I live in um, the Woodwind. My name's Elizabeth Hickey. We're living in um, Pennyburn. It's got a strong sense of community. Kilwinning is a small town. 60% would be in the 20% top deprived places in Scotland. I can remember my dad's brothers and sisters were brought up in real, um, today we would call it poverty. There are drugs, mental health issues, there's a lack of employment. These are, are real people with real lives that have been living in this area for generations. Kilwinning Evangelical Church has partnered with 20 Schemes for a revitalization effort here. Logan had completed the training with 20 Schemes to be placed somewhere about the time that this church had also reached out and they needed someone to come and help the door stay open. We are a small group of people. We have nine members, two of which are homebound. We are uh, needful of people here to uh, be involved. Uh, the majority of the church family are older folks. They've prayed for years and years just for uh, life to be breathed back in the church. Since Logan, the minister, and his family have moved, it's been great to have them, the older people in the church. It's kind of brought them alive a wee bit. It's been wonderful. It's been such an encouragement after praying for a long, long time. It's pretty humbling because it's been a difficult journey for us to get here and to see that, in a way, we're an answer to prayer. Um, so that's really neat. Second Samuel 23, verses 11 through 12. And so you've got David's enemies, right? And they want to take over this field and everybody flees except for this man named Shema. But he took his stand in the midst of the plot and defended it and struck down the Philistines and the Lord worked a great victory. So we are here in Kilwinning simply to be like Shema, to stand with the light of the gospel, sharing hope, praying that the Lord would give us a harvest of souls saved in Kilwinning.